As T-Bone was getting ready this morning, I was telling him how thin he's getting. He's looking good. So of course he had to show off. Anyhow, day 22, and we had a view. This was, we were at the campground last night, and this was our view. Headed on day 22 to his drop-off point, which was at 3... 18.7. We stayed in this little campground, not too far from the drop off point. Drop off for day 22. Perfect. Picked T Bone up yesterday. Up that road, back to the trail. I already saw another hiker up there this morning. There he is. Well, good morning, friends and neighbors. This is day 22, back on the PCT. Just got back on trail this morning when I got off yesterday. And uh, got about, I don't know, 10 or 15 to go today before we get out. Uh, had a lot of fun yesterday when we got off trail and went to Joshua Inn, had great sandwiches, high school beer. Uh, and then today, when we get off trail, I think she wants to make a little run up to Crestline, a little mountain town she wants to check out. So as you can see behind me, a lot of open country ahead of us. That's the direction we're going to be traveling. And we'll keep you posted. See you down the trail. First one of the day. That didn't take long. Out here sunning himself. Come on, get out of here. There he goes. Gopher snake. Well, that's why you gotta be watching on the trail. We have a confirmed Paco Van sighting. That's crazy, right there. There she is. probably down there studiously working on the next video release so everybody can enjoy on the trail and outside with T-Bone and Boo. We've still got a ways to go. We're going over that direction. Well, been on trail about two hours this morning. We're coming up to a Pacific Crest Trail highway crossing. And of course, you want to always look both ways. And here we go the other side. And there's the happy little trail marker. And now we are headed in kind of down elevation. Uh, we're getting close to this lake. Should be right around the corner. So I drove up the road here. This is the dam at Silverwood Lake. Uh, T-Bone's right behind us. They dropped them down. I'll show you. He'll be going down and crossing the bridge down there. He'll be going across that bridge and then he hooks around Silverwood Lake. Anyhow, I was over there editing and he said, look out your driver's window. I looked up in the brush and I could see his blue shirt. Cool day today. It is windy, but it's pretty. 
clouds coming over the mountain there. And then we're going to be heading over that direction tomorrow. So we got out of that valley and came up in a little elevation and got on the other side of the ridge line we'd been on all morning and now we've got a beautiful view of Silverwood Lake. And on this side of the ridge the winds are uh, going pretty good. Cool winds coming off those mountains up there where that cloud layer is kind of laying right there. So uh, even though the sun's out, these cool winds sure make for a nice day. Sunny, the uh, trail is going to snake around the upside of Silverwood Lake as we get to the other side. And then uh, once we get west of Silverwood Lake, it will continue on up into those mountains into the next national forest. So I did a little Google re research on Silverwood Lake. So yes, it is a reservoir in the San Gabriel Mountains. It's about 90 miles from Los Angeles and it does receive water from the east branch of the California Aqueduct. This lake generates energy through the turbines on the south end, and then the water moves to the other places or flows onto Lake Paris. The lake was formed by the Cedar Spring Dam, and it is part of the Silverwood Lake Recreation Area. So as I'm sitting here editing, and T-Bone is on trail across the river, I and mean then across the lake. Can't get in close enough to see him. You can kind of see the trail, which is a uh, up above the lake there. He's moving on, right above that picnic area. So the trail has brought us around the uh, western side and northern side of Silverwood Lake. And now we're coming down here where it looks like they got one of the reservoir facilities to maintain the water levels. Really a beautiful lake. Yeah, it looks like a marina is down there. Uh, major highway over there, so very nice, very nice. Real pretty lake. A little windy, but uh, beautiful. Continue on this away, see what lies next. See you down trail. Number two, he ain't even moving. Looks like he may have a full belly. Oh. He's just gonna lie there. Not even give me a second thought. There you go, bro. I think he must have eaten something. He looks full. All right, then. Number two. Huh. It's been a really nice trail today. The weather's been really nice. Cool temperatures. Sun's out. The trail itself's been in good shape. And uh, got to go all the way around uh, Silverwood Lake, which is just really pretty. Uh, we made good miles today. There wasn't a lot of elevation, and, uh, and it was just a, a really relaxing day. I think I'm almost to the point. I'm gonna get off trail up here in a couple miles or so. And uh, we're going to go, 
I guess you'd call it a new road. We're gonna run over to a, a town called Crestline and check it out. So we will be in touch and keep you posted on the trip. Headed to pick up T-Bone. So this is where the trail has brought me today, down here to this little intersection. There's a trail marker here. They can be elusive. You kind of got to watch them like, where's Waldo? Uh, but this is kind of where I'm supposed to get picked up. We'll wrap this up for today. A real pretty body of water coming down through here, real clear. Nice, nice body of water. But that'll wrap it up for today, and uh, we'll close this out and uh, start here tomorrow. Doing the quick pickup. <laughs> Got it. Go, 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 go. So here we are. Another one of these California mountain roads. It's uh, switchback after switchback. Going up and up and up. We're uh, headed up the crest line. Check it out. It's supposed to be a cool little mountain town, but look at some of these curves. My gosh. You can just feel the tires popping off the rim trying to get around these dudes. But thank goodness Boo is all over it. It's making it work. Tweedledum. These guys had a bath. <laughs>